plus an 8, 3, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So how can we state the Pythagorean theorem? Well, it's actually an if-then. If we have a right triangle, then the square of the legs, sum of the square of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, more commonly known as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Go backwards. The converse. What's the converse? It would be if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then we have a right triangle. Is it true? Yes. So I give you a triangle with sides 3, 4, and 5. We would be able to say, yes, that's a right triangle. Now we can actually take it one step further. If they don't equal, and c squared is less than, we have an acute triangle. If they don't equal, and c squared is greater than, we have an obtuse triangle. So check it out and try them. A squared over here, 7 squared, and 8 squared over here. Pardon me. 6 squared and 7 squared over here. So we get 64, we get 36 plus 49. We look at that and we say 64 is less than 85. It's acute. So here we take 82, 18 squared, squared of course, plus 80 squared. We get 6,724. Three twenty four plus six thousand four hundred. Say six seven two four equals six seven two four. It's a right triangle. Try the last one on your own. When you're done, you should get one hundred twenty one is greater than. 113, which makes it obtuse. Now that's really it for this lesson. Pretty straightforward lesson, but kind of interesting thing. Don't ask for why it works or how it works or anything like that, but take a random number and I'll just take 5. Put it underneath a 1. Why? I don't know. Like I said, don't try and get me to explain it. Add 2 to that, so we get 1 7th. Add them together. That'll give us the numbers 12 over 35. And it turns out that 12, 35, and if you do the math, 37 are a triple. This works for any number, so try uh, an even number. You get 6, you put it underneath, you add 2 to 6, you get 8. Uh, least common denominator in this case would be 24. So 4 24 plus 3 24 equals 7 24. And it turns out 7 24 25 is a triple. Don't know why it works, but there's lots of triples out there. As you can see, they're pretty much infinite. Let's try 11. Put it over 13. Get 13 over 143 equals 24 over 143, which is a triple. 
and I believe the triple is 24, 143, 145, but you'll have to check that last one for me because I don't have a calculator too handy. Just an interesting fact. Good luck with the homework.